So when we think about a data set, you know, one of the questions that we have is it is it normally distributed, right? Sometimes they are, sometimes they are not. <clears throat> Oftentimes within different data sets, we have outliers, but how do we actually um, identify them as such? And how do we know when they are an outlier or where they're just on the edge of within the normal uh, data set? You know, other issues uh, really, you know, that we have to address is if we have missing data, uh, and, you know, do we actually cut out that entire uh, data entry? So let's say that we're looking at um, teacher perspectives on a number of issues and they don't, uh, they don't actually answer some of the questions of the survey. Do we throw out the entire uh, respondent altogether or do we just somehow adjust the data set accordingly? We also want to look at uh, what it means to clean data or data cleaning, right? So <clears throat> uh, oftentimes data sets are not perfect, right? Uh, whether they be our own or other third-party data sets that we get our hands on to analyze in certain ways to come up with research findings or information to share with others. Uh, but sometimes we have to clean the data. Sometimes they're miscoded and we have to go back in there and correct that. Other times we can think about how to consolidate some of those codes into more narrow ones. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and then we have other issues, uh, again, related to different kind of distributions of the data sets. Uh, with respect to kurtosis, with respect, um, you know, as I said before, about normal distributions, uh, outliers, all those sorts of things. Uh, we're getting into the quantitative analysis portion of this class. We're going to look at this not only theoretically and from a discussion-based standpoint like I'm doing now, but also within the confines of the world of SPSS. You've had some uh, initial practice, but we're going to do uh, more of this throughout the rest of the semester so that you're uh, tr sort of tried and true and ready to be able to do some of your own research and as you move forward within uh, 7901, which is the third quantitative class that you'll take later in this program.